What's going on YouTube? This is Dave Rake 748 coming back at you guys with a review on one of my favorite lines and that is SH Figuarts DBZ line. Now guys, this is the last figure that I've gotten from my family as a Christmas gift and I am super excited to be bringing it to you guys here today. Now, Yes, Christmas is over, but opening this bad boy is going to feel like Christmas in itself because he looks like a hell of a figure. I do like the packaging. The packaging is, once again, very standard packaging that we have come to love and enjoy for the SH Arts, SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z line. We have Brawly here. His color scheme is like red and goldish. Um, over here you have the pixelated art that's pretty cool on the back you have many different poses you could get Brawly in plus some of the accessories that Brawly comes with on this side you have another amazing picture of the massive behemoth Brawly himself and there you have it guys stick around while I take the legendary Super Saiyan Brawly out of package and we'll see what this guy has to offer. Give me a sec, I'll be right back. And we are back. We have Brawly out of package and this is a perfect figure to end the year. Um, this is just a awesome, awesome figure. If you haven't gotten your hands on one right now, I would highly recommend you go to Big Bad Toy Store or Gundam Planet. I know they still have some in stock. Um, Amazon, wherever, um, because this guy is massive. This guy's awesome, and I would recommend this to anyone who is a DBZ fan. Now, just quickly, before we even look at the accessories or whatnot, here is a size comparison of Brawly. So here's Brawly, and here is just regular old Goku. Now, if you are looking at the powered-down version of Goku, uh, meaning not Super Saiyan, he literally comes up to probably his nipple. Now, if you take the Super Saiyan one, it probably comes up to his, his hair, Goku's hair I'm talking about, probably comes up to Brawly's little necklace piece right here. This, look at him, I mean, this is why we call him the legendary Super Saiyan because Brawly is freaking big as hell. Uh, this thing is, wow, it's, it's huge. I really am amazed with what SH Figure Arts has done with this figure. So putting Goku to the side and I'm gonna put Brawly out of frame here because I know for a fact my camera is going to want to zoom in on him. Let's take a look. So the first thing you get or that I would like to show you guys is this little manual. It tells you exactly how to interswap out the faces, the hands, um, and how to put on the base and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. And yes, he does come with a base. That is quite nice. You get this little nice Tamashi base right here. You get this little um, arm piece here. Um, pegs into here, and there you go. It has three little ports here where you can bend. So that's pretty cool. And you get another one. What's this one for? It's for the f fireball effects. So I'll show those off in a little bit. Let me just move this aside. So first, we'll showcase the fireballs. And here you go, you get these nice translucent green slash white um, f uh, fireball effects, which are pretty nice. You get three of them, they do have little peg holes like right there. So if you wanted to peg it into one of these, just line it up, and there you go. You can do that, but you get three of these. Quite nice, I really like it. Uh, up next, you get... Not that many hands for Brawly, and I understand why. But you get these gripping hands, or fireball effect hands, or Kai Blast hands, whatever you want to call it. And you get these open palm hands. So these could also be used for Kai Blasts if you wanted to. Uh, well sculpted, nicely detailed, even the nails are actually there. So that's pretty cool. 
you get two alternative faces other than the default face that's originally on him. You get this menacing little grin face with nice earrings done on this guy. You get this screaming face or enraged face which is quite nice. And then lastly you get the default face which is just him kind of looking out. Now on to the figure itself. This figure it's pretty heavy I'm not gonna lie so I think even though standing him is not that difficult, um, I would definitely recommend you using the Tamashi stand with this guy. Why? Because if he topples over, uh, yeah, that's going to be a disaster. So I highly recommend you use that. Uh, when we take a look at the sculpt, I mean, this is Brawly. Brawly in all his glory. They did an amazing job just capturing Brawly's likeness. You have all the muscle definition. Brawly should be massive. Uh, if you haven't seen the movies with Brawly in it, I highly recommend you do so. Um, I love his little, I don't know what they call this, but yeah, this piece right here. His pants look nice. I love the detailing that they put into his uh, boots here. Even the gems are just that metallic blue, which is awesome. Same thing applies for this gem here, the gem in the necklace, and the gems on the back of his little uh, wristbands. Now, um, as you guys can see, sculpting, spot on. I love the face sculpt. I love the hair. It's just perfect. Paint job, once again, is very excellent as well. I love the gold paint that they used for the necklace, this belt piece, the forearm piece, and the shoes. I love the paint that they used in the pants piece or the bottom half here. You have this black wash going through the entire red. You have a little, um, I don't know, it's like a light bluish tint in his white pants right here. Um, the reds are just done nicely. Uh, even if you look at his body, uh, you see shadowing done all across his body, like in like the crevices of his muscles. And I really do like that. They put a very, they put a lot of detail in this one particular figure. Muscle definition in the back, once again, it's highlighted here, 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 here. Um, the muscles look just pretty freaking amazing. And yeah, so there you go. All right, guys, let's take a look at the articulation and we'll call it a day. Sorry about that, guys. My my camera's battery was dying. I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I'm going to, I'm not going to risk it. So I just turned off the camera and now my batteries are fully charged so I can finish this review. So here we go. Uh, we left off with articulation. So uh, that's what we'll start with. The head is on a double ball joint here. And I, I will show that off as soon as I take off the face, place, face plate to put on a new one. But he can look left, he can look right, he can look up, just that much. He can look down pretty far, and there you have it. When it comes to the arms, his arms are on a ball, jo um, ball joint, and he has that swivel built in right here. Um, he does have a butterfly joint, as you guys can clearly see. Um, bicep swivel in here. Double joint at the elbows, which is pretty nice uh, for such a massive figure to get this much articulation for the forearms it's actually pretty epic the hands can fully rotate and can go in and out just a tad bit so that's pretty good the upper diaphragm joint he can rock side to side he can look left right and that's also the waist joint here uh, i love how they've built this back piece because you get all of the articulation. I mean, you can push this guy's back all the way back like this so he could look up. You can bring it all the way down so he could crunch. So that's pretty good. Uh, when it comes to his legs, actually before the legs, this piece right here, 
is on a little ball joint right up here. So you can move this thing left, right, you name it, uh, it moves. Uh, same thing goes for these pieces right here. For the legs can go out, these pieces do not hinder it as you guys can clearly see. But if you do uh, want him to be kicking forward like this, you're going to see this gap. So be careful with that. Um, honestly speaking, will I be displaying my guy like that? No, uh, I don't think so. For the knees, you have a double joint right here. And I really love the fact that they've uh, sculpted and painted all of this inside piece. They didn't need to because if you close it up, you can't really see it but they went the extra mile to do that for us. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you do have a, all the foot articulation you could possibly ever want. You can go left, right, uh, ankle pivot, it can go up, toe joint, everything. Everything is there, so there you have it. All right, so last thing I wanna show you guys before I let you guys go and enjoy your weekend or rest of your weekend is how to interswap out the hands and whatnot. So here we go. To interswap out the hand, you just take the hand, you literally pull it off the joint. So there you go. You can put on, I don't know, maybe we'll put on this hand right here. Just plug it back in. The joint seems um, strong enough, so you don't need to worry. So there you go. That's pretty good. Uh, for the face, you pull off his hair, just like any old DBZ figure. Pull off the face and put on whatever face you want. Now, real quickly, just to show you guys, as I said before, there's one ball joint and then there's one ball joint in the back. So it's double ball joint. See, you can kind of see it. Maybe I can show it from the back. There is another ball joint right there. And then there's one down here. So, yep, there you go. Now, to swap on a face, take a face that you want, line it up, put it in, and put on his little front hair piece. And there you go. You have Brawly with a different facial expression, different hand, and he's ready to attack the uh, legend, not legendary warriors, but uh, heroes from Earth. So, there you go. You can put a little nice uh, Kai Blast in his hands. You're probably going to have to use like a little a wax or uh, that blue stuff to have him hold it. But if you want to have it something like that, he definitely is able to. Now, real quickly, I don't think I show or talked about it when we we're talking about paint. I really do like the highlights that they used in Brawly's hair here. It's nice and light green, and it should be that color because when he powers up, uh, his uh, flames are green, like greenish, yellowish, that kind of color. So I really do dig that because he looks freaking epic. But yep, guys, there you have it. We have Brawly out of package, and uh, he is an amazing figure. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Just want to say Happy New Year's, guys. Um, I hope you guys have a great new year. And uh, I can't wait for what is yet to come. So stay with me, guys. And uh, let's enjoy 2015 together. Thanks for watching. This is Daybreak748, and I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.